Tonight's big story, this Phoenix man who took part in Wednesday's riot at the U.S. Capitol has been arrested. Jacob Anthony Chansley, also known as Jake and Jelly, turned himself in to FBI agents this morning. Team 12's Josh Sanders is here now with the very latest developments surrounding this investigation. 33-year-old Jacob Anthony Chansley, also known as Jake Angeli, surrendering to special agents at the FBI Phoenix Field Office Saturday morning. The self-described QAnon conspiracy shaman donning a horn bearskin headdress and wielding a bladed spear was front and center as pro-Trump rioters attempted to seize the U.S. Capitol. <laughs> the pillage leaving five people dead, now facing charges of knowingly entering and remaining in a restricted building without lawful authority, along with violent entry and disorderly conduct on Capitol grounds. On his way back to Phoenix, Chansley gloating telling NBC News, quote, the fact we had a bunch of our traders in office hunker down, put on their gas masks and retreat into their underground bunker, I consider that a win. It shows that he wanted these acts to happen. Retired FBI Special Agent John Yanarelli says his gloating is a prosecutor's dream. All of that is going to be used in the prosecution against him. He can't claim he got caught up in the moment. And after this, we're going to walk down and I'll be there with you because you'll never take back our country with weakness. You have to show strength and you have to be strong. Chansley's insurrection fueled by President Trump telling the FBI that he, quote, came to the Capitol as part of a group effort with other patriots from Arizona at the request of President Trump that all patriots come to D.C. on January 6, 2021. Yanarelli says the horn shaman needs to take responsibility for his own actions. The reality is he alone, along with the people he was with, decided to break into the Capitol. The FBI telling 12 News that Chansley could be in court as early as Monday. In Phoenix, Josh Sanders, 12 News.